And you heard her. She just mentioned it, New York City uh, and the trade-offs they're making based on the money they're spending. Well, not long ago in 2021, Democrat New York City Mayor Eric Adams vowed to cherish and protect all illegals. He said this, quote, we need to ensure that undocumented immigrants receive health care and protection, that ICE is never in a position to partner with the police department and harm them. We also need to make sure we treat them with respect and dignity, the dignity they deserve. Also, according to Eric Adams, the tired, the poor, and the huddled masses yearning to breathe free are all welcome in the Big Apple. Ha ha ha. That was then and this is now. With nearly 70,000 illegal immigrants in New York City shelters, you heard that right, and more on the way every single day, Mayor Adams is no longer so virtuous. In fact, thanks to a new emergency order in the city, Adams will be turning away buses full of migrants, illegals, if they don't meet certain conditions. Mayor Adams' new message to illegals is simple. Don't come to New York City. You're not welcome. Here now with reaction, former Trump senior advisor Stephen Miller and Florida Congressman Representative Michael Wall. Stephen, did he believe it then and now it's just too tough to be that virtuous anymore? Or is it political? Why the about face? He was a fraud then and he is a fraud now. And I will tell you why. Because if he actually cared at all about the safety and security of the people of New York City, he would terminate his status as a sanctuary city. And he would announce immediately that the New York City authorities, the police departments, the rent department, the housing department, every single institution in the city will be taking down immigration information, taking down immigration status, forwarding to the federal government, and making sure that the next administration will have that information to carry out deportations. He could do that right now, but he does not do it because he's still a faithful servant, a faithful member of the Democrat Party who is committed in his heart to a regime of open borders. And until he says, we want these people to be deported out of the country, I don't take seriously one word out of the mayor's mouth. Well, you know, he has said very recently, it's not that we don't want them, we just need to spread them out equally across the country. There are over 100,000 towns and cities. Why can't everyone have the amount of illegals that New York City has? But Representative Waltz, I noticed that Florida's not having this problem. The weather's a lot nicer there. It'd be a much better destination. This is actually a policy question. Like, why aren't illegals going to Florida? Why are they going to New York? Well, actually, Pete, uh, there may be. You know, we can't get a straight answer from uh, the Department of Justice and from DHS on exactly where these people are being shipped in the middle of the night uh, and, and what numbers. Uh, and how they're being taken care of. But you know what's so rich uh, from, from Mayor Adams and also the mayor of Denver, the mayor of Chicago, is, I mean, in the case of New York, this is 67,000 that he's having to deal with out of the over 10 million uh, in the New York City uh, metropolitan uh, and, and area. Uh, Look, that's a fraction of his population. But you look at the border communities in Arizona, Texas, and elsewhere. I mean, you're talking 100 to 200 percent of their population. So why is it OK yeah. all these years that Texas's hospitals, schools, infrastructure, and their dollars are being exhausted, and their citizens, their veterans aren't getting the services that they need. But suddenly, when New Yorkers uh, are, are barely affected with a fraction of their population, then it's a national emergency. And here's one other thing, Pete. The solution, when you actually pull the thread, whether it's Adams or the Democrats in Washington, D.C., the solution is to throw more money at it. We should have more shelters. We should have more hotel rooms. Uh, and they're frustrated with Biden because he's not spending more money, not because he's going to actually close down, not, not closing down the border. And I promise you, uh, if the Democrats get their way, all they will do is just flood more of our viewers, your viewers, taxpayer dollars uh, at this problem, rather than actually just change policies and go back to what President Trump did, which is force the most left-wing president in Mexican modern history to put his National Guard on his southern border and shut it down. 
That's exactly right. Uh, their, first of all, their, their budget is already a disaster in New York. But, Stephen, what they do is then they say, here's all this money, here's all these hotel rooms, here's all these resources for illegals, yet there are homeless vets. There are, you know, people in any of the five boroughs who can't get basic services. I mean, to me, this is the inversion completely of America first, the rejection of American citizens on behalf of a reception of illegals. He'll yell about it, but there's a, there's a political play here. I mean, there's a reason the White House isn't changing their strategy. Every single thing you are seeing is deliberate and purposeful. From the day Biden came in, he terminated every Trump removal and repatriation policy and replaced it with a mass release machine, a mass resettlement operation. And all Democrats have ever asked for are two things. They want amnesty and citizenship for illegals, and they want more money to place them in shelters around the country, more taxpayer dollars. They don't want the problem solved. They want the problem accommodated and accelerated. And this has a very direct connection to the topic in your first segment about President Trump being removed from the ballot. Because in both cases, yes. what you have is a war on American democracy. American voters are given no control over their borders who can enter the country, and now they're being deprived of the right to choose their next president. There is a war on democracy in this country, and it is being waged by the party of Joe Biden. Yeah, they're autocrats. And, and uh, they don't care about average people. Yeah, go ahead. Last word, Congressman. And let me just add to that. We were, we were just a, a year, thank God we got the majority. You remember Nancy Pelosi's H.R. 1, her first voting bill uh, was to lower the voting age to 16, to flood the country uh, with blast balloting, and basically make the country be able to ballot harvest like New York and California does. So it's, it's not just the immigration. It's not just both uh, Secretary of State's and DA is going after President Trump. It's also the Democrats in Washington trying to fundamentally change how we vote. This is a full-fledged, across-the-board assault. Stephen's absolutely right, and we need to see it for what it is, and we need to wake up to it and fight like hell to stop it. You're exactly right. I mean, the Democrats worship one God, and it's the God of government and power and control and expanding that power, power and control, and we're seeing it power. on every level. Congressman Waltz, Stephen Miller, thank you both. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.